Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm sharing with you my Halloween purse collection. Hey guys, just a heads up, I forgot to turn off one of my Halloween neon lights when filming this video. That's why the coloring will be off in some of the clips. Hopefully it's not too annoying. So sorry about that. Back to the video. Hey guys, it's Sam, also known as Halloween Happy on the spooky part of the internet. Thank you so much for joining me for a new video today. If you want to see more Halloween things and get more Halloween Happy happiness into your life, you can follow me on Instagram. All my social media links are listed down below. If you would like to help support my channel, you can check out my Buy Me A Coffee. That is in the description box as well. And I want to give a quick little shout out to my supporters before we get started. Just wanted to thank Heather over at Gourds and Ghouls. Also wanted to thank Lee, wanted to thank Linda, Thank you, Clouds Garcia. Thank you, Shams. Thank you, Chris G. And thank you, Joanna, for being so amazing and helping support my YouTube channel. It means so much to me. I hope you guys know that, and I just appreciate your time, your energy, your love, your support. And just thanks for letting me into your little Halloween hearts. I really appreciate it. I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite Halloween purses. Also, this is my second time filming this video. You guys, I've been having the worst luck with technology. If you've been around, I've been posting on my community tab. The world is against me, but I'm going to keep pushing through like we always do. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into it. I have a love dislike relationship with them. I like them, but my shoulders don't like them. My posture does not like them, but I do enjoy a great cross body bag. Like one I can just throw over and that like my neck has to carry, not necessarily my shoulders. There's a lot here guys. And I will be changing my bags per the season and stuff like that. I do that. So if that's something you want to see, like my current bag and what's in my bag and we can throw it like back in the old school, old YouTube days. We know the shop now, but back then, I feel like they were just starting out with the pumpkin bags that are so well known now and that would be from Love Paint and Stitches. It's been a while since I've ordered a purse from them just because I have so many already. I got these two bags a long time ago. I even did a haul on my YouTube channel a long long time ago. I don't even know what the order ordering process is like anymore. I had it down to a system of where I could always snag a bag because if you guys know in 30 seconds they were sold out but I was pretty proud of all the purses that I was able to snag. The first two it wasn't really like I think I just ordered them whenever it was like a casual order if that makes sense it wasn't gonna run out wasn't gonna sell out. I have a few from Love Pain and Stitches. My two first Love Pain and Stitches bags like Oh, I have such a nostalgia for these. It just takes me back. I love these ones so much. They're so cute. This one I like to wear when it's in the middle of Halloween season. Like I'm talking about October. Spookiness is in the air is my soul. It's just so happy. It's so bright and it's Halloween-y. Like what more could you want in a purse? The only thing that I'm really sad about this now is because I've used it so much that I need to get the zipper replaced on it because it doesn't close. But I definitely need to find Find someone to fix that for me because this purse is too cute not to you and so at the time I had ordered two this was the other one I love this one so much this is like when I'm feeling extra spooky and it's like I'm feeling dark and moody this is definitely a purse that I like to use there's not a lot going on inside with these ones which is nice maybe you like that maybe you don't I personally don't really have a difference because I only carry a few items in my purse no matter what purse I'm using you get a lot of room I think and then you also get like either one pocket or two pockets Pocket. I think it just depends. Adjustable strap, which is nice, so you can wear it on your shoulder. You can wear it crossbody style. I know there's a few people who are into Halloween, and I'll get messages here and there, and they're just like, How did you feel comfortable with showing like your Halloween heart, your spooky true self? Like, how did you feel comfortable? And I will say, like, these purses definitely helped me. They made me feel more comfortable. Purses, I think it's easy because people, it's like a conversation starter. So people will see your purse and they'll more than likely think it's cool and they'll be like, oh my god, I love Halloween. But then of course you have some of those people where they're like, oh my gosh, it's Easter. What are you doing? If you do feel a little self-conscious, conscience with 
self-conscious why can i say that you can always flip the bag if you want like if you're not ready to show your true spooky self to the world okay so the next love and pain stitches bag that i got was this purple jack-o-lantern one usually this is like my valoline purse just because it's purple a little more like cutesy and lovey and soft but it's also a great halloween color like obviously i love this one because it's gray i am always a fan of gray and i usually wear this one come winter because it's usually gloomy outside just in the dead of winter like there's no life no color you know so this one is usually my go-to winter bag this is also one of my favorite love paint and stitches bag besides the solid orange one another orange one but it's glitter i absolutely love this one so much it's so cute it's so me like it's just so festive it's like that glittery halloween magic and plus i know there's a lot of us that we like the glitter but it doesn't need to be on everything but this is nice because the material is like a shimmer but it doesn't get glitter on your hands which is always a plus this is one of my favorite ones i rotate this one come halloween season i'll wear them throughout the year but i do have like a main purpose for each one like a main point in the year does that make sense okay so this was actually the last love pain and stitches bag that i've purchased and it's been a few years as you can see like because i have a lot of them and then i also have some more other bags so i've taken a break but i definitely would get more in the future so this one i ordered and i've never used this purse and at the time this was like the first release of the black cat it was like when it first came out when they first started doing it adding it into the rotation what a cool bag like I need that spooky but it also has a little bit more intricate work to it are you joking who doesn't love the Halloween cat like this like it's so cute yeah I've never used it this one was pricier than the normal ones I'm worried about wearing down the tufts of hair and the ears like I just don't want it to lose its shape I've had it for many years it's done pretty well just being on display I've thought about maybe selling it sometime because I know there were a lot of people who wanted this purse at the time but yeah I love this one just because you get both the black the orange I just love the texture of it I love the pattern design I love that Oh, I just love like the orange in the ears and the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and then my favorite parts, which are very small details, but they're one of my favorites about it. If you get up close enough, you can see that the pupils in the eyes, the glittery vinyl, and then also the teeth are the glittery vinyl as well. Touch of shimmer there, which I appreciate. I'll show you my everyday bag. It's not really Halloween, um, but I do add things to it to make it more Halloween-y. I think I'm gonna do a video of like accessorizing bags and stuff like that if you want to like Halloween it yourself which is my series on my YouTube channel where I show you guys how I add just simple things with what I already have to make it into a Halloween accessory into a Halloween anything if you want to see that video let me know because I would totally love to do that for you I'm hoping to add more into the rotation this Halloween season do some videos like that so let me know give this video a thumbs up if that would be something that you would want to see real quick this is just like my everyday bag this is literally just Aaron's bag. It's my go-to. It can fit my camera. It can fit my inhaler, my phone, and I like it that it's a backpack and I don't have to worry about having it on my shoulders. I feel like with the backpack, it kind of pulls my shoulders back, which helps me with my posture because I don't have the greatest posture. This little handbag. Oh, are you scared? One of my subscribers sent this to me. Very fun. Love wearing this one come Halloween season, especially if you're dressed up in a costume. It's always fun to accessorize. And I always think of Tiffany from like Chucky. It doesn't have a tag inside, like a label. Just super simple. It's nice because you can just have the little wristlet and not worry about dropping it at night or in the daytime whenever you want to wear it okay so the next bag also was sent from one of the halloween happy friends a long time ago this came from hannah halloween this has always been like one of my go-to bags also because it carries my phone carries my inhaler i like it because you can do shoulder strap or you can wear it cross body you can take the straps off and you can just carry it by this chain it has this little skull embellishment right there just opens up so the next two bags i'm sharing with you guys are from sleepyville fritters i either got from salem 
the Salem Charlie, like one of my first visits here, or Modern Millie. I can't remember because I feel like both of them carried it at the time. I think they still make these purses, so you can probably just look up Sleepy Bill Critters. Just this little skeleton purse. It's very slim, has a nice little pocket here so you can put your phone. You don't have to worry about unzipping the bag each time. Has a little pocket. The fabric has torn on this one just because I've had this one for a really long time. Super cute, super simple. I like purses that you can wear every day, but then you can also add them to a costume. This purse is also Sleepyville Critters. Now this one I did get from Modern Millie, which is a local dress shop here in Salem. I love them so much. I've worked with them in the past. You guys have probably been to their website. They also have a website too, not just the shop. This was one of my other bags that I got when I lived in Kansas at the time and I would come out to visit Salem. It's not bulky or anything like that. Lays really nicely on the side. This one is a two-sider, which is great. So you have the simple jack-o'-lantern with a little bit of little bit of shimmer and glitter for the eyes, nose, and mouth. And then on this side, if you want to go full on glitter, here you go. Speaking of Modern Millie, I got this one, I think last year. I feel like the past few years have kind of just jumbled into one. One of my favorite purses in my top three. So fun. It's just so festive. It's just like so bubbly. Jack-o'-lantern backpack, which is so adorable. I feel like a little spooky turtle with a little spooky shell on my back. So as I mentioned, I did get this one from Modern Millie. I would assume they probably might have them again this Halloween season but the brand is collective big huge nice roomy pocket two little pockets up here you get a little zipper pocket I'll zoom in here this is the tag this is the label tag collect very festive just spooky cute you know I don't have any accessories on it now but like I mentioned before if that's a video you want to see let me know it's the tiniest purse I have this little orange bag I think I got this from forever 21 a few years ago thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger it's like the size of my hand pretty much Let's give it the phone test I feel like that's it has to be phone inhaler possibly my vlogging camera it does stick out which it's not the worst adjustable belt strap the strap is removable so you could definitely carry it like a little handbag little spooky cutie so this next purse comes from crimson and clover a few months ago i think maybe two months ago now I did a giveaway with them for this specific purse. But yeah, if you guys haven't heard, check out Kat and her shop. This one is really cute. I don't really have anything like this. I love the orange of it. I love all of the spooky designs, the spooky details. The artwork is fun. Love that it's tan. I don't really have like a spooky tan purse. And I always just think of like, this is good for spring. I mean, of course, fall too, especially when you start wearing like the browns and tans and creams and stuff. You can wear this one all throughout the year, but I just think of like just spring. I don't know what it is. Love the gold details on this. I love that it's a little clasp. And this purse is actually water resistance, which is amazing. And it's so roomy. It has like a great shape to it. It's like two little pockets here. And then on this side, you get a zipper pocket. Also has the design on the back. You can remove the adjustable straps, which is nice. Adjustable belt strap with the little buckle on there. You can remove that and just carry it as a little handbag with this strap up here. This would also make a really cute lunch bag. Like if you took your lunch to work. Just a really cute bag. This is also in my my grouping my groupings of my top favorite purses so you guys might recognize this purse this style this comes from backstitch bruja which is yvette's shop and let me tell you guys like her work is out of this world this bag the shape of it the sturdiness of it amazing i love that it has like the gold details to it as well this one is the mexi lean bag also comes with an adjustable strap you can remove it which is really nice clips that come off really easy so you can wear it on the shoulder you can wear it across the body but my favorite thing is you can turn this into a backpack and weave it through this little loop back here. Check out her Instagram. Like she has all the ways you can style her purses. I highly recommend her. Check her out. But the stitching is just so beautiful. Like just the quality. It's cruelty free leather that she uses. You know it's a good purse if the inside is just as cute as 
the outside. So beautiful bright orange spider webbing fabric it has these little folds here. So when you're opening your purse, it's not going to completely come open and then you've lost everything. You have a little pocket up here and I like it too because it has like this wiring so it just doesn't become a little floppity flop pocket that doesn't hold its shape, doesn't really hold what you need it to hold. Little zipper pocket, like a little zipper pouch. So beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Stay tuned because I might be having a few more purses that I'm adding to my collection and I'll definitely make a video of those if you guys are interested. So the next one is a little wristlet bag, which is so cute. You might recognize this, but this is from my friend Danielle's shop, Verona Black. Definitely check her out. She makes the coolest stuff. She does bags, she does jewelry, just a lot of great spooky things. So definitely check her out. I love this so much because I can use it for, I can use it for makeup, I can use it for a bag, I can use it for like all of my SD cards and stuff like here on my desk. So many options, but this one is so cute. I love that it's a wristlet so I can carry it around. The perfect accessory to any little Halloween outfit that you want to wear. I love the inside of it. it. has this black and orange lining and then here it has Danielle's label, Verona Black. Love that it just gets to the point of like, I'm spooky. This purse I shared with you guys in my last clothing haul. This is from Die With Your Boots On. They're a goth shop here in Salem. They have a lot of cool clothing. They have Halloween stuff, spooky stuff alternative things. It's also one of my favorite shops here. I use my affiliate code which is Halloween Happy. It's listed down below with the website too so you can save 10% off. This purse, I've used it so many times already. I love that it has the chain strap. It has the leather strap up here and it's like the cutest little coffin sized bag open and it has a zipper which I've mentioned before is nice because sometimes if it's just the flap over and not the zipper you can get some things that might fall out if you're having a wild crazy night. This is like if I just want to take the bare minimum of things so like driver's license, debit card, inhaler, and foam. Good to go. Love the clasp on it. It's so cute. So yeah, check out Die With Your Boots On if you get a chance and don't forget to use my affiliate code. All right guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed checking out my Halloween purse collection. I had so much fun showing you. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you guys want to see what I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram. All my other social media links are listed down below at Halloween Happy. If you would like to support this channel, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you are notified whenever there is a new video I post weekly. Stay tuned because we'll be doing some Halloween shopping videos, Halloween hauls, some DIYs. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And if you would like to show extra support for my channel, you can check out my buy me a copy. It's listed down below. Any support is truly, truly appreciated. Just thank you so much for giving me your time and energy. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.